Good morning. Constat recordum. I'm going to try to get through this on one take. Uh, hopefully you're ready for your night job. Again, you'll need to work uh, around the clock to catch up. Uh, but I'm going to wait for you, just like you waited for me. I, uh, I hold no ill will. <laughs> and I look back on some of my other videos, and I say, one minute I say, I, I hold no animosity. And then the next minute, I'm, I'm dragging particular individuals through the mud. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm being a little uh, hypoc uh, hypocritical. Uh, but, again, I strive to be a different person. Um, every day, I do. I, I, I don't, uh, I look back on the younger man that I was, even yesterday, and I, I do make an attempt to, uh, to, to, to sculpt myself, right, to a, a better individual. So that when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm a little more happy every, each and every day. Uh, and again, it's good advice, um, I think. It's working a little bit. So, uh, contextual text formatting and art articulation, right? We're talking articulation. Um, so before I go any further, I just wanted to uh, give myself a quick shout out because I am uh, I'm a, a ham. So I just, uh, you can freeze this if you want and maybe look at it later. But I just wanted to give you a little bit more information about me, just in case you uh, may have a, uh, a skewed aspect ratio, or uh, you may be basing your opinion on conjecture. And I wouldn't want that to happen, because then the only one who's going to get screwed in the end would be me. So uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to uh, let you have an opportunity to just uh, see my, uh, my resume. And if you want, you can take a, a, a skim through it. And I'll uh, let you have a chance to uh, to read through it, and I'll have some coffee. And I got a pillow on the floor for my feet. I'm I'm trying to get into a more ergonomic uh, position so that I can convey this information, this building information model, a little more effectively. And I'll say it again: uh, Bayonne, New Jersey, is a corporation, and I insist that I'm part of this corporation, whether you like it or not. Uh, so I've decided to walk into the boardroom. Unannounced, it wouldn't be the first time, but I'll try uh, and stay, steer clear of City Hall. None of my business. Again, the uh, zoning board meetings aren't for me. I only care about the English sparrow. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm really big on historic preservation uh, and, and all those nice things. Uh, urban planning, I, I'm fascinated by it. Uh, but again, I, I'm not really up for debate about whether or not uh, someone's going to block the view of their neighbor because these folks, they're, they're out of control. They're out of control. <laughs> you know, they're really out of control. And they're misguided. They're misguided. I don't have to, I, I've seen enough zoning board meetings to know it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a circus. It's pretty much a circus and everyone knows everything. But the zoning officials, and um, from what I've been able to ascertain, you don't get to be a zoning official by resting on your laurels. It's a, a, an admirable job, and I, am, uh, I uh, aspire to, uh, to emulate them in a certain degree. Uh, so uh, that being said, this course isn't for you if you begrudge an individual with an education. I'll reiterate it. This course isn't for you if you're overzealous. This course isn't for you if uh, you're insecure. Uh, or it is. Uh, this could be, this could very well be, the course that uh, gets you out of your shell. Remember something. As a, as a domestic indigenous people, uh, if you just so happened, well, I shouldn't say indigenous people. Let's just, put, let, me, let me rephrase that, because it sounds anti-immigration policy. Let's just say, for sake of argument, that you have been able to grasp the English language and you're able to convey the information lucidly and concisely and illustrate your point without redirecting an individual to deviate from center and you're able to communicate effectively, then that is an asset and it is another tool in your toolbox. And I have only been able to gain confidence in myself through my vocabulary. Everything else is second fiddle to me. 
I, I hold that asset near and dear to my heart because if anyone has been following my craziness on Facebook, you will see all I do is research the meaning of words uh, because I'm interested in them. I'm interested in the origins of language. Now, that goes for folks at the other end of the spectrum that convey information in language that I don't understand. But, again, this is the language of love, right? So, uh, it goes without saying. Now, I'll let you uh, digest that <laughs> while I uh, move over here. Who remembers Reader's Digest? <laughs> anyway, it's, I'm deviating from center. Because I'm not going to go into a contextual text formatting in this video. I'm going to let you read this. And then I'm going to use a... Uh, and this is a raster image. I, I inserted this as a, as a PDF into a sheet. But I could have brought in uh, any host of images onto the sheet, right? Um, your logo, your brand in the title block, right? All those things can go in there. But what it, it's very difficult, though, I'll be honest with you, to bring in PDFs um, of scanned AutoCAD drawings and, and scanned uh, vectors. Because these are raster images, they're pixels. There's a difference between a raster and a vector image. And uh, in, in Reddit and AutoCAD, they're vectors. And you can do your research on what a vector is. It, it actually does have a, a multitude of, of meanings. And, you know, their uh, diseases actually have vectors. Uh, they have vectors. But you look at the spectrometer, and you'll see uh, exactly what I mean. Now, I'm not saying I went to medical school. But I'm saying I could have used a doctor along the way. That's all I, I, I could say. So I believe in the, uh, the power of homeopathic medicine. I do. I have to say I'm a big believer in the, the power of homeopathic medicine. Now I also believe that if you think you're going to get sick, you're going to get sick. And, and the mind is a very powerful thing. You can, you can think yourself with positive wavelengths. And, and I think, I believe, uh, I, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm betting my last dollar on it that I could uh, attain the same thing. Because I, there was a time, you know, that I, I had, I had uh, succumbed almost to a uh, multitude of illnesses in this endeavor. And when you, when you, all you do is care about comprehending it, and that's, and, and, and along the way, you, you run into resistance, and you fight, and you claw, and you scratch, and you, uh, whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. And sometimes it takes more than uh, your, your body's capable of giving. And you could have a, a nervous breakdown, a mental breakdown, a physical breakdown. You see how folks self-medicate in this world. If you're, let's say for example, you're in a dead-end job. And you go to work every day and you're miserable. You know how it is. It's, you, you shove food in your mouth, you look for answers at the bottom of a beer bottle. Uh, you, 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 you resort to intravenous drug use, you're, 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 you're sniffing blow, you're popping pills, smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee, all those crutches, right? And they say Revit Pure, right? Revit Pure. It's, it's going to take a steady hand. It's going to take a steady hand to make these uh, drawings precise. As precise as you can, because... Uh, it rolls downhill. The mistakes roll downhill. They get compounded. They get compounded along the way. Cumulative errors. Cumulative errors. So, uh, again, there is a huge uh, 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 emphasis on precision in this endeavor. But again, if you go through my resume, I'm not going to recite it to you verbatim, but there's another aspect to this. There's definitely another aspect to this. So you can fake it until you make it, right? They say you can fake it till you make it, or you could uh, you could walk the walk and talk the talk. But how how much you can you can sculpt yourself into a professional? How you do that, and what you expose yourself to deliberately to learn. I tell my kids the same thing: just get your foot in the door, ask a million questions. Maybe you'll find somebody that that notices your ambition and your zeal. And, and, and wants to take you under their wing, maybe, right? Take you under the wing and, 
and maybe show you the ropes, because it's not falling on deaf ears. And, and a corporation, any, any corporation that, that knows anything about uh, labor studies would know. These are the types of employees you want. You don't want an employee to come to work every day watching the clock, not giving that little bit of extra effort. But again, there is a balance between work and home. But if you love what you do, you'll never work another day in your life. Again, the only problem with this profession for me is some of the individuals I've, I meet along the way. If, if it was a world where, and of, of course that's just how it is, if it was a world where everyone got along with each other and everything, we all look through the world with rose-colored glasses, things may be different, it, but that's not reality. It's not reality. Some folks have a modus operandi that's not conducive to your physical and mental well-being. It's just how it is, you know. Some folks, uh, uh, they, they, they hold malice in their hearts and they, they hold a malicious intent in their minds. And then others are eager to help. And then they say, nice guys finish last. So there's this mix of management style that you're going to have to uh, figure out and, and employ, to deploy in your organization to, to instill a sense of culture. Now, that's why mission statements are so important in an organization. And the, it's not just words. You know, it's not just words. You, you go to some of these offices and there's all these paintings and placards and motivational quotes and they're all over the internet as well designed to, to pick you up and lift you up um, but they're emotive and it's just it's synonymous with architecture we're c conveying emotive feelings and, and emotive environments and aesthetics and um, ambiance and spaces right living spaces in some in some cases work spaces and uh in, in, in industrial sense uh functional spaces and, and, and form follows function so before i get into contextual text forming i just <coughs> just wanted to uh you know get down back down to ground and uh let you know that i have your best interests in mind and regardless of or regardless of what you've seen in some of the videos that's just seeing the uh um, vent through roof on final. That's all that is. So fret not. I wouldn't harm a fly. But uh, sometimes you, you, you go to these firms, you don't, I, I'm not one of those that go around talking about everybody in the office around the water cooler. Uh, you know, I'm usually the one that's getting talked about, right? In some instances. It's the quiet ones you gotta watch out for. It's the quiet ones that you gotta watch out for. I had a couple of senior level management folks that I had seen in my travels and I, I looking back and as the early a younger man, I, I probably should have emulated a little more. My, my biggest problem, and even to a certain extent now, it still is a problem, uh, I, big mouth, right? Sh doesn't know when to shut up. Listen, right? And he, as uh, immature, you'll do that. And youthful zeal will do that as well. But sometimes you really got to just listen uh, and you'll be able to ascertain a, a little more of, that, of what's going on. And I have practiced that mantra over the last few years. It wasn't always. Uh, it, was, it was like that earlier on. The older I get, the more I hold value to listening, even if I'm listening to a diatribe of nonsense and ridiculousness. There's a lot to learn in that as well. And uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that those folks are, are, are going to be immediately gone from the equation. They may coexist and form a role uh, in, within an organization, and you may just have to deal with the fact that uh, you're going to run into abrasive personalities that you're going to have to find a way as an individual to uh, coexist with, and that's going to be another toolbox in your repertoire of tools that you can utilize to sculpt your persona. That's just another shield to enamor yourself against the risk of, um, of losing focus. You, you're gonna have to shield that. Now, again, just a little bit of a, a little bit more about, about me. 
in my past, so people, I, I wore my heart on my sleeve and it was so easy to push my buttons. So easy to push my buttons. And it wasn't until I started to realize and see the, the deliberateness in it. And, and start to realize, well, wait a second, I see what's going on. I mean, this <laughs> mf -er is attempting to push my buttons. And uh, urban slang calls it, this mf -er is trying me for lack of a better term, uh, play in me. And, uh, and that's exactly right. Winding you up and then playing you. <laughs> Just like a record, right? Just like a phonograph. Pressure, 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 pressure. Sing. <laughs> Tell it to the judge. <laughs> anyway, constant recordum. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed the video.